All right. Uh, what's up, everybody? Yeah. You guys know this song. Vanquishing your dreams, your demons. Hey, if you're evil, if, hey, if you're done being evil, can you please finally call me back? <laughs> All right, but um, look, everybody, you know, let's get this underway. Someone's been busy, hasn't she? I'd like to think I understood the assignment. That you have, and it's still the tip of the iceberg. I have a fantastic opportunity for you. I'm listening. How would you like to try your hand at one of the most unique experiences in WWE? A position where you'll be able to set the agenda, take control of the whole of the WWE universe, and truly make a mark. And this magical mystery opportunity will let me do all that? Indeed, in the prestigious role of WWE Raw General Manager. Isn't that you? What, are you going on vacation or something? Well, now that you mention it, I may have plans. Aha! But this is fertile ground for you too. Stepping into a WWE authority role, applying your talents to the other side of sports entertainment. Sure, booking may be a balancing act sometimes, but you already know that from your work as co-owner of TBD. I'm not convinced that this offer isn't just because you want a vacation. But nonetheless, I'll do it. Splendid. I can't wait to catch my flight. Um, uh, see you in action. So when do I start? Well, I should start heading to the airport. So, how's now? Seriously? Don't worry. Raw practically GMs itself. Sure, Bianca needs a challenger for Survivor Series. Bailey and Becky have both been bothering me incessantly about their booking. And the suits in Stanford are especially sensitive to ratings right now. But you'll figure it out. All that GMs itself? Are you sure that's it? Yes. Oh, wait. No. Charlotte needs an opponent for tonight. Actually, this is a good way for you to set the tone of how you'll be running Raw. Every match should tell a story, so you just need to decide which story you'd like to tell. Such as? Are you going to choose an up-and-comer like Nikita Lyons to challenge the Queen? Maybe someone she has a lot of history with, like Rhea Ripley. Or maybe you want to dig into Charlotte's past a bit further. She goes way back with Natalia, including the feud that made Charlotte the first woman to hold all major singles titles in WWE. So, what kind of story do you want to tell? Who will you choose to take on Charlotte? I think Nikita Lyons would offer an interesting challenge. I have no hard feelings, despite her involvement with the Beacon. And I like the idea of pushing an up-and-comer. Fantastic choice. Well, good luck to you. I have every confidence. And just a word of advice. Do try to be as neutral as possible as GM. You may find yourself rooting for the talent you put forth. Sometimes even as strongly as if you were in the ring yourself. First match. The ship is temporary general manager. Okay. So far, it looks promising. Cap has made one match here, right. Cole. Let's not give her GM of the year just yet. I am GM of the Corey. year. This is a good start. But Charlotte Let's is working on Come on, Nikita. And she I finds an answer to Charlotte. You to fight Charlotte. Oh. There you go. She avoids the attack completely. Okay. Good grief. Saw it coming. Able to interrupt the attack. Yo, this stomp is pissing me off. Double knee drop. It's so hard to reverse. Got it. And Nikita capitalizes there. Well, I didn't want to do my ear. For the way she did me. And Natalia, she was old. So I like a new up and comer to try to prove herself. Counters with an attack on Charlotte. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Okay. Series of kicks. I like this that was a thank you shot to the so-called benevolent queen. And a Oof. stop to the gut too. 
Oh uh, yeah, you thought. Uh, and one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Ah, oh, what a smash! That is just insane. So can I get a reversal? Double, double reversal. Right? There's always a double reversal in that move, bro. Oh, Come here. Look at this, just unloaded. Come on, Nikita. I need you to win. Oh my God! To the face. What's Nikita's intention? And Lions with a split-legged leg drop. That One, two. What in the world? This just has to be Charlotte's DNA. It's the genetic. The DNA. That's great. After that maneuver, that is great. It has to be the Charlotte's DNA, bro. He's taken out many other competitors. Oh, that was a good reverse of Charlotte. Oh man. That Charlotte's hoping to end it here. This is it. And only gets a one. Yeah, Nikita. I thought for sure that was it. Pass it in. Shoulders down. One. Two. And she it out. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Kick to the back. Kick to the back. Crack his right. Give me a nice little Mitchell grapple. Opponent, look at these multiple knee strikes. Bam! Strikes with a kick. Great awareness as he proves to be too quick. And Nikita capitalizes there. Nasty chop. Oh, no. Game. Iron Jaw. Yes. <laughs> that is using Iron Jaw. So I'm going to get up right away. Shoulders down. This can but be what? Dang. What a hard fought victory. Here is your winner. Good job, Charlotte. That's crazy. Look at this. Oh my god, effect us immediately. Cam will be temporary taking on my responsibilities for a general manager. Girl, you work your mind off. What? How about we get Becky versus Bailey? What are you guys talking about? Shotzi's in here, Justine. A lot of y'all are in here. Oh, that's interesting. If I could have a minute. <sighs> what is it, Troy? I honestly don't have time for your tone tonight. I'm trying to manage a show. My tone? I would never use a tone with you. <laughs> I, I think you're doing a great job. Top notch. Ha <laughs> ha. Very funny. Oh, you're serious. I guess now that I'm the management, you have to suck up to me. I'm not sucking up. I, I think your ideas are genius, boss. Of course they are, Troy. I'm smart. Now what's up? Yeah, Becky and Bailey. Exactly. They're being particularly difficult in hounding us to be named Bianca's next challenger at Survivor Series. Ah, I'm sure they snuck into your DMs too, but I'm used to superstars pestering us for opportunities. <laughs> no offense. But this is getting out of hand. How do you want me to handle it? Uh... Why don't we just have Becky and Bailey face each other exactly. for the title opportunity? That'll be a great match and solve our problem. Great suggestion, boss. I'll set it up. Wow, you really know your stuff. <sighs> I could get used to this version of you, Troy. So why is we going through the difficulty? We can just have them face each other. Y'all don't be thinking. 
I'm not here to fight. Well, you and Chauncey. Good. I don't want to fight either. Then maybe we can work together on my idea? And what's that? Survivor Series. I know for a fact that not only has Ron not announced a main event, but Regal had nothing in the plans yet. So, let's take the bull by the horns and do something truly spectacular. War Games! I can't just book a War Games match, Shotzi. Why not? Are you GM in name only? No, I mean, I love War Games as much as the next person. But it's not a match to be taken lightly. You need a reason. Something that merits putting two teams who want each other's throats inside a double ring cage to battle it out with abandon. Who would even be the captains? I captained my team in NXT, and I was excellent. Ah, so this is the classic. My pitch is that I should be in a main event pitch, right? There are rules to booking. Excuse me, but when did Little Miss TBD Rebel, See, who puts with people me. through tables, become a lawful good right. follower? Don't you ever just want to smash things for the hell of it anymore? That's not the point. I'm taking my role as GM seriously, Shotzi. It's hot shotting to just announce a War Games match. You sound like a WWE suit. Let's screw the so-called rules. Put yourself in the match against me, and we can absolutely destroy each other in that cage. You just want to mean it, We right? pick teams, go all out, and millions of people tune in to watch the joyful carnage. The two of us are perfect for war games. You're the captain, and I already drive a tank to the ring for crying out loud. Uh, you know what, Shotzi? It might not be a terrible idea. Let me think on it. That's all I'm asking for. And Justine, what do you want? I wanted to stop by and congratulate you on your new role. So, congrats. Yeah, yeah. It's only temporary while Regal does whatever he's doing on vacation. But thanks. And giving Nikita Lyons the chance against Charlotte? I wish Nikita had been able to pull off the win, but that was still a great matchup. I love that you have a commitment to newer talent as GM. I actually feel the same way about pushing the next generation. Always have. And as your liaison to NXT, I wanted to offer you an opportunity. What's that? An opportunity to showcase more of our top talent on Raw in a next-gen battle royal. And Nikita probably has a leg up from her match with Charlotte. But it'll be great for all talent involved to get the spotlight and some reps in. I love that idea. I'll set it up for our next episode. GM. So I know Raw the next gen battle royal. I'm probably pushing the talent though. I strictly think that at the last week she's rooting for Nikita. Who knows? Yes, y'all GM is working very hard. Nope. He had Nikita. Oh yeah. Man, you lucky. Almost had you. Come on. Look at them jabs. Look at them jabs. Bro, you had it right there. Come here. Doozy. One punch, two punch, three punch, four punch. Kick to the gut. But sometimes you just gotta toss another person and make a statement. She manages to nope. get control. Ooh. Oh, snap. Yes, Bruh. Are you serious? The Nikita sucks. <laughs>
and driven. Looks like she is itching to throw hands tonight. And she's come to the right place. Her opponent wants nothing more than to take that big indie reputation and drag it through the mud. All right, let's that go. The number one contender. That's for the girl. She is, is up to you to enforce the rules. Use a fast count to help Becky Lynch. By the end of this match, okay. will it be Becky Lynch or All right. Becky? Hey, man, y'all boy, keep, keep it clean, keep it clean. Uh, one. And she two. kicks out. Good right. job by the ref. Seeing the kick right out right away. A great cadence with that count. I got this. I got this. All right, Bailey. Good throw. Good throw. Hey, watch the hair pull. Watch the hair pull. All right. Ooh, me personally, I wasn't taking it. Fuck it. All right, Bailey. Good elbow drop. But they can't have it. Oh, never mind. Hey, watch the hair. Watch the hair. Watch the hair. <laughs> During a submission, press to check on the fan. You tap out or pass out during your check. You can call for the bell. It is also possible to perform a screwdriver and call the bell early. There's no point in me checking that. Go try, go try. Ooh, ooh. Okay. One, two. I was too, I was too. Help Becky. Let's win the match without being a dead dude. Absolutely forgetting their training. And we just saw some serious offense. Becky experiencing firsthand just what kind of a challenge this one's going to be. There you go. Come on, Becky. Come on, Becky. Oh, that backfired out. And the knee. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Why would our official even do that? Yeah. Now I go back to the restroom mode. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, Becky. Yeah, Becky. Do your thing. Do your thing. Elbow drop. Elbow drop on her. You can tell she wants to put an end to this. How do I count? Man, how do I go back to my free mode? Well, how you? <laughs> how do you do this, bro? That is tossing your own body around without a care, taking no Rang out. Count out. Not started. I don't know how to go back to referee mode. What in the world is she doing? I need to get back in the ring. Shoot, I had to go stick. I wasn't even paying attention. One. Such a timely kick out. Our official didn't show any favorites with that count. Nah, see, I don't play favorites. Yeah, Becky. Let's go. Get back on it. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Ooh. Go. Hold on, 
Ah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. One, two. Two count, two count, two count. Two count, two count. Oh, yeah. Get him, Becky. Get him, Becky. Get him, Becky. Oh, yeah. Fails. One, two, three. Hey, imagine it, Rick. I was just simply doing my job. Well, that was something. Hey, you were the one who said I should put my finger on the scale. Yeah, but I thought that and don't get caught part was implied. Uh, guess not. I wasn't actively trying to get caught. Too bad you don't have the chance to course correct the championship match before Survivor Series. But maybe I do. How? Survivor Series is this weekend. You can't send Becky and Bailey back out there tonight for another rematch. No, but there's another option. As someone said recently, I'm Miss TBD Rebel, not a lawful good wool follower. And Raw is a three hour show. There's an announcement I need to make. All right, Miss TBD Rebel. Whatever you've got up your sleeve, good luck. General manager in the ring tonight, but this time she has a special announcement. Here's hoping this goes more smoothly than her stint as special guest referee. As GM, I'm not deaf to the concerns of the WWE Universe. Specifically, that my involvement in our number one contender match earlier tonight may have made it look like management was biased towards Becky Lynch. I assure you, my intent as GM is simply to put on the best show for the WWE Universe. And that applies to not just Raw, but Survivor Series. As such, it is my duty to inform you that Bianca Belair will not be defending the Women's World Championship this weekend. Bianca's being pulled from Survivor Series? She will not be defending this weekend because it's clear Bailey and Becky Lynch are not done yet. I just hope they have allies to rally to their side. Eight fighters, two teams of four. War Games! War Games at Survivor Series? I'm not missing this one. Well, we're paid to be there, Saxton. I know, but it's still incredibly exciting. I probably should be upset at you for putting another hurdle in front of my title match. But honestly, fair play. Glad we're okay. We are. And I respect your hustle. You've made a lot of bold choices since coming to WWE. It's one of the reasons I want you to be on my War Games team. Really? I like your instincts. Especially when you get in trouble and have to think quickly on your feet. I even trust your instincts. Team with me, and I'll let you pick the rest of the War Games team. Uh, let me think about it. Oh, before we continue anything else with this, hold on. You really did it this time, didn't you, you dummy? I think you'd be happy that you're getting another opportunity to earn the title match in War Games. Should have just booked the War Games match from the start, honestly. Want to be on my team? Why do you want me on your team? 
I think it's pretty clear from your time as GM that you've been going into business for yourself here and just doing whatever you can to scrape by. And that's exactly what I look for in damage control. So what do you say? Join me, Dakota, and Io in the fight to secure my WWE Women's World Championship match? I'll get back to you. All right. This is the last conversation we're going to have, and I'm going to end the video and keep on continuing. Hey, I've been looking for you. I thought we were going to meet outside of catering. <laughs> Turns out I was pretty busy in here. Both Becky and Bailey want me to be on their war games team. You can't be serious. You loused this up so badly, and they both want you on their team? Hmm. What can I say? I'm a catch. I swear, there's something in the water around here that allows you to walk away from the consequences of your actions unscathed. <laughs> I'm sure putting yourself into the main event while you're also acting GM will be no different. <laughs> Thanks for another great promoter lecture. Look, I know you're gonna do it anyway. Who are you teaming with? Becky said she'd let me pick the rest of the team. I'm joining her side. Can't wait for you to get absolutely no flack for putting yourself into the match that you set up. Have you decided who else you'll ask to join you and Becky? Alright, let me go ahead and choose this. Uh, this is a lot, you know. Dang, Psycho Savage is 67? Are you sure you want to swap out this ally with one? Hold on. Let me see, bro. Ooh, I see the team I'm gonna get. I see the team I'm finna get. I see the team I'm finna get. Right, make my team go to 86. Yeah, that's cool. I'm on the team. <laughs> well, good luck. Alright, welcome back everybody. So, as you know, I'm general manager right now. Well, acting general manager. And I have a Warriors match. So, yeah, let's get it on that way. Guys won. Introducing first, from Charlotte, North Carolina, the Jester Cameron! Cap has to be the worst general manager in Raw history. She puts herself in war games, and I heard it wasn't even her idea. Uh, rumors aren't facts, Corey. And besides, anyone who competes in this type of match deserves our respect. Up aboard, it's go time! for the captain. <laughs> Bailey is a ring general ready for battle. And representing damage control. Understand this, Bailey will deceive you. She will stab you in the back. She will do bad things to good people to get that Women's World Championship. And that's why I love her. No rival, two rings, one giant cage, and eight superstars ready to risk it all for the big victory. Not only is pride on the line here, Cole, but depending on which team wins, we're gonna have either Becky Lynch or Bailey as the number one contender to Bianca Belair's title. That's true, but first things first, no one in this match should be looking past the goal of surviving war games. Nice Japanese arm drag. Evades their offense. Bailey leaves an opening. Face Buster first. Look at that counter from Bailey. And a rough landing, but she'll get some space in the other ring. Ah, oh, look at this. Hair pull net slam. Oh, 
just turn that around. Quick exchange of counters there. She catches Bailey with a counter. Ripcord. Oh my goodness. Nasty line. Boom. Connects on the kick. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Counting down to seconds until this match becomes a bit lopsided. I think Rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind Rage. Holding cages open and away they go. Ready to get into the action. Into the cage now, and the numbers advantage is locked in. Face buster. Basement drop kick. Measured kick to the vertebrae. Made her pay for her mistake. Firm control. Jaw shattering boot. Just pinning the arm down and then. And a carefully measured. From the top. Oh, elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Break of the face. My God. Ooh. Feeling the WWE Universe on another level. This is her fuel. Now Becky Lynch. And that was a nasty Samoan driver. Oh. From behind. Up into a fireman's carry position. Uh, fireman's carry into rolling hills. Ooh. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. And with his coming entrant, the teams will officially be evened up. Here's the combo of strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Door swings open and out they come. And their team could definitely use their help. We got a little tandem offense in our future. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Alliances in this situation don't last long. Let's see how quickly this devolves. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Oh. Jumping knee strike on point. Oh, what a kick. Ooh, Becky just aggressively going after that. Look out. More attacks up there could leave her severely impaired. This Back. might be the beginning of the end. The manhandle slam! Is it the finishing touch Lynch needs? The bitter end. Oof. It's about to be an uphill battle for one team once this clock hits zero. Gentlemen, the advantage has officially shifted. Oh, step up in Zigari. Oh, gets cracked by the overhand. As if the number's advantage wasn't enough, looking under the ring for a weapon now. An elusive Bailey there. Uh-oh. Oh, Scorpion death drop. Bailey looking to end this. This might do it. Hooked up for the rules plan. Will that overtake Becky? Come on now. Is it not enough that they're already coming in with an advantage here? Is this really necessary? <laughs> Able to elude it. Torturous knee. Fisherman suplex. Carefully measuring. Seated bionic elbow. Entering the ring and assessing the situation. Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. She propels her over to the other wing. Uh-oh. Hard on side kick. Things will get back to an even playing field with the next entrant. Snap mirrored over. Boy, 
kick. She's about to rise up to something catastrophic. Freed from the cage and now needs to make haste to even up the fight. She steers clear of that one. Oh, the Enziguri. Searching out of the red, thinking something there can give their team a boost. Not enough to just even the odds. She's searching for a tool to gain the advantage. Oh, that's just insulting. Oh, stop side to the noggin. Looking for something under the apron before entering. She has clearly seen what the numbers advantage has done to her team and wants to level the playing field and attacking above the shoulder. Taking flight. That's probably not how she wanted to get from one ring to another. Oof. If this were a tables match, that would be all she wrote. Yeah, I don't see her writing much of anything. Victory in the pinning combination. Super kick to the face. Does that finish Bailey off? Exchange reversing the reversal. Counter after counter. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Here comes the buzzer. The numbers advantage vanishes with this next entry. Disrespectfully earning that. Becky Lynch from the hall. Continued shots of the core will do that to you. And here we go. Hide your grandma and put the... Is it enough for Bailey? Meanwhile, my takedown by Becky looking for the arm bar. She just showed more. Bailey's got her hooked. She's got her where she wants her. Becky Lynch with a goal. Like that will leave you gasping. 
hoping for air. Yeah, it looks like it already is. Kick to the midsection prevents the attack. He got the shoulders down. Oh, that was close. This match continued. Uh-oh. She gets launched all the way to the other ring. Huge feather in the collective cap of the winning team, a moment they'll remember for a long time. Throughout the course of this match, we saw a dramatic power struggle play out inside the cage. It was brutal. It was grueling. But in the end, in their epic War Games victory. And why wouldn't they? You're now looking at the number one contender for the Women's World Championship and the GM who put her in that position. This will go a long way in shaping the future of the women's division on Raw. Shotzi? Is that a full-size tank? Oh, my God. Shotzi came prepared. I guess she graduated into something larger. She's not stopping. This is going to be bad. I don't want to watch, but I can't take my eyes off what's about to happen. Shotzi just picked up speed. She's going to land the cage. Oh, into the side. And down they go. This is bad. I can't believe what just happened. We need some help out here, fast. Whatever her issue was, Shotzi took things way too far here tonight.